there with uh, Hollis. Hollis owns Arrow Plumbing in Sarasota. We go down there all the time. And we caught two bull sharks. About six or seven feet. They give you these tags you're supposed to put on. So we get the bull shark and they're in a small boat. Well, bull sharks are, I mean, they're this wide, I'm thinking, you know. I ain't getting paid for tagging these suckers. I just, I just you know, just unhooked it because the hooks are real huge. Unhooked it and coming loose on it. We ain't tagging nothing. Because that thing would hit our boat and we'd be all be in the water and bait. But it's neat fishing down there. Oh my god, there is a fishing there. A lot of spotted trout. Delicious. Just delicious. Mm. I like that. They, like got their old, they got the hardware store there that's been there for a million years. You go in there and he tells you like nothing's for sale until you put out the, until you pull the money out. And he's got antiques in there, lanterns, junk, this, I mean, it's unbelievable. There's how much you take for that. That's not for sale. It's like, you know, pull out 20 bucks. That's 25. Okay, here's your five. <laughs> Where he gets this stuff, I don't know. You got enough of it there to last uh, another 50 years. I hear It's a guy's name. I can't think of it. Something we wear, uh, hardware. Yeah, but it's, it's you're not talking about that. No, because that's a museum. You probably don't go there. See, most Smallwoods people don't know. Smallwoods General Store? Pardon? Smallwoods General Store? That's it. That's it? That's it. Is that what you're talking about? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, so you've been all that stuff. Good. 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 I've never been in it. Oh, you didn't go I, in? No, I didn't go we in. We got about as much junk outside as we have this Yeah, I, I did not go in it, but I wanted to see it, you know, and I, I did drive around up there. And, and, and well, many I years ago, I came home from Vietnam, and my, my dad and I bought a little farm up in Wisconsin. We lived in Chicago, and uh, we tore this old barn down, and we found all kinds of junk, bottles, and, uh, you know, Burt's old fashioned uh, whatever, you know, drink this and you'll cure everything. You know? Right. <laughs> so I gave him about a half a dozen little bottles. It's like I gave this guy, like, uh, you know, a check for 10 grand or something. He was so thrilled. A lot of them still had labels perfect on it. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whiskey jugs. Yeah, he would be a buff. Furniture, all kinds of crap. Well, yeah, that was the only store around years ago there. That's the only place they could buy anything. That small woods. Indian guy. Seminole, right? Seminole in the South yeah. America. You can actually see how it fits together perfectly. Oh, the whole, on the whole a, state on was underwater. Yeah. The whole state was underwater yeah. one time. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. with the seven feet above sea level, if we ever had a major, we'd be underwater again. Well, hopefully we won't. Okay. Hello. It was interesting, if you notice and read about the hurricanes, the area of Sarasota is almost never hit by hurricanes for some reason. I mean, I live about a mile from the Gulf of Mexico, you know. I mean, we'll get wind and all that stuff. Right. I'm talking about the down-out hurricanes. And they have records that shows all these tribes during, right before hurricane season, would migrate to the Sarasota area. And that guy I told you about, Hollis Tucker, Hollis is now probably, I'm guessing, 75, 77 years old. He's like sixth or eighth generation Floridian. And his great, 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 whatever grandfather lived right by the Gulf of Mexico, and he was the sheriff. It's all on horses back then. You know, it was like the early 1800s. And his area, like he would kiss his wife goodbye and be gone for six months, was from the Gulf of Mexico to what is now where Disney World is. That was his land of jurisdiction. He would load up his six shooter and his. Rifle on a horse, a horse with, a, with the, the bacon and all that junk and take off. Wow. Well, when you read about, there's a book, um, I think it's called The Land Remembered. I can't think of who the author is off the top of my head. But it's the early, early white man. Well, Barnes & Noble has a section just strictly on Florida. It's, they have a lot of these really is, old stuff. It, it oh just, it's unbelievable. It's what they endured. These early guys, be, even like before the, the war, they would come and they, I would, they would be out in the middle of nowhere. Well, just mosquitoes. think of building this. I mean, See all that there? That's what all this was. That's you know, exactly. They had to come in and dig. And you're talking 100 and some degree weather with the mosquitoes and everything else. Or they do the cattle runs to Fort Pierce, right? That's At one time, it was the whatever. number one cattle producer yep. in, the, in the United States. I mean, but this, it, it really kind of tells a story about this one guy and his wife and just the hardships and, and I mean coming out and well if just you go down where I told you and you walk or drive your bike 
I don't know, half mile, three quarters of a mile. You'll see it on the right where they lived and they had cattle there. And they have pictures there of the very early days. And you know, women wearing dresses down their ankles with boots and the hats and they're out in the woods out there. You know. I'm a, I wouldn't. I don't know how they would have had to kill me years ago. I don't know how they did it. They didn't know better. It's the way it was. That's right. It's always that way. It's always that way. You, you, you don't know better. And back there is a huge guy. He's huge. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. Yeah, big guy. Yeah, on him, the longest one they ever found in the park. And there's different people with different thoughts. It was about 14 feet. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Yeah. Oh, in the summertime, they're just laying all over the place with their mouths open and. Yeah. Oh, make it getting their teeth white. Yeah. No. <laughs> just. With their mouth open, waiting for something to walk by. You see, you, you'll see all the spines on their bodies and all that. That's their air conditioning system. Yeah. All those spines with their mouth open, that's their air conditioning system. Oh, that's something. By the way, I am charging for this little <laughs> program here. Yeah. I tour guide. So I gotta have you. Social Security just don't pay that much. <laughs> Actually, I'm lying. It pays me a lot. Yeah, that's good. I'm very thrilled with it. Hey, you know YouTube? Can I put this on YouTube? Sweetheart, whatever it is, I have I have never touched a computer in my life. Really? And I just got a cell phone because actually I work at Siesta Key Beach. I'm the guy that drives around to keep the beach clean and move all the picnic tables. I, my TV is still this big. <laughs> my daughter like, yeah, that's my dad. No play up with TV, no computer, no cell phone, no iPod, no this, no that, and no headaches. There you go. Now, does your daughter have a uh, computer? Oh, they all do. Actually, my, it's kind of, I, I got, I got, my, my, my oldest kid is going to be 45 years old. I have no, you know, they're not kids. They range from, I think, 37 to Sam will be 45. And uh, they're all, two of them are school teachers, both girls, I'm sorry, she, she, uh, the one works for the Veterans Administration at Heinz Hospital in Chicago. Now. <laughs> and uh, Kelly's a school teacher. Vince was in the same business I was in the car business. And the other guy works for this uh, medical place. They have like 20 or 30 buildings in Chicago and the suburbs. And he is their computer guru. He goes all over and trains That's doctors and trains everybody, you know. Oh, he and goes, you don't let, even have a computer. He goes, Dad, let, let me send you, he gets them. I mean, all I got to do is pay for shipping. Right. You know, well, some of the, uh, we call the little guys. Laptops. The laptop. You know, they send you a little one like that, <laughs> and a big one. And just, you'd be wasting your coat. How do you do it? Nothing wrong with that either. About the weather report, you stick my head out the window. I can generally tell if it's going to rain or not after all these years down here. Okay, what I'll do is I'll post this to YouTube. Titled Vince. I'll, I'll never see it. But no, I know your kids. Just tell them to oh. type in you. Go on YouTube. Type in Vince. I will probably never remember that. What's your name? No, YouTube. YouTube. Y O U. YouTube. Y O U T U B E. And they'll have a video of you. Then oh. you can say hi. Then they're gonna know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't care. I bring them all down here. I, I got nine grandchildren. Oh, wow. So I come down here and they're all at the age now of fun. You know, they range from about six to 14. Right. I got nine of my kid, my grandchildren here fishing, fishing out of here. Aw, that's nice. Oh, they do. And I take them to the golf. Now, in the golf, in the summertime, it's fantastic fishing. Oh, my God. You get black tip sharks out of there right offshore. Two to four feet. Just up in your... Where do you in the fish water. on the jetty or north of the coast? I, all of it, actually. Yeah. yeah, the jetty. But I just fish right off the shore. You, know, you got to have golf. a license now, huh? State of Florida, if you're over 65, which I definitely qualify, and if you've been here over a year, which I definitely qualify, your driver's license is now your fishing and hunting license at no charge. Really? Oh, yeah, so if you're over neat. 65, yeah. huh? And because I, I had a little... implemented that last I, year. I, I've got a little douse of malaria in my blood. So I gotta take this pill every day, but I usually forget and take it three times a month. Uh, <laughs> I, I get now. Uh, Don't tell uh, his kids here that. For the rest of my life, I come in this park up to eight people, totally free. Never knew that. Oh. A young lady was telling me we we're just talking about it. I said, "Well, geez, I think I qualify." She 
and we'll be right down what you need. Like your discharge paper, your DD-214, some medical crap. I, I didn't want a prescription. Well, it's, it's veterans. Day, yeah, yeah, yeah for, okay. for the veterans. Now, if you've been in the military, you get 25% off the season pass. Wow. But if you were any kind of medical problem, anything we could bring in, you know, something with medical, it's totally free the rest of my life. All I do is I got the card, then they give you a little pink slip. And every year, right before it expires, like mine expires, I think it was January 12th, you bring that in and they just make you a new card. And it's good at every state park in Florida, by the way. I'll be done. I go to Mayaka Rib, I mean, uh, Oscar Shear, or whatever. Yeah. There's literally like a hundred and some parks in Florida. There's so yeah, many of them. Great. Well, that's good. So that, oh, I, I was thrilled about it, yeah. Well, that's good they do that because they've got a lot of veterans. No, a lot of military people are yeah, tired military, down there, yeah. you know. I mean, they, I mean, I just spent four years with a lot of them, you know, that was a whole lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just passed that new uh, cemetery. That's where we'll be buried. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks... All I get cremated and, and, but you can be buried in uh, hole there at your choice. And uh, you could have your spouse there too. Yep, that's what I was telling her. And that's she had died before you in a burial. Yeah. I mean, you look at some of these headstones. I go to the Lapis Scar, walk around. There's guys there that have been in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. All three. Yeah. All three of them. And you'll see stones where it's just Mabel something, just a woman. He's a husband of whatever, but there's no death yet on his deal. Yes, yeah. you know, George is still walking around. Uh -huh. well, that's interesting. So the guy that has no computer is now going to be on YouTube. <laughs> you say hi to your kids. Too bad I can't see it. Say hi to your kids. <laughs> I, I, I got hi, the, they'll whoop, see it. Hi, kids. There you go. Sam, Vince, Kelly, Holly. Aw. Pull your glasses up so they see your eyes. Angry oh, they know my too. eyes. Yeah. There you go. Handsome man on YouTube, Vince. You know what? what we should do something like, um, don't film me. We oh. should do something like Vince and Alligator something so that they'll find it easy. This oh. is probably common. Oh, a common thing. Okay. You know. um, what's a nickname that they would recognize? Or no, let's see. Uh, Vince or Vincent, I'm not calling anything else. No, how about Vince people. Fishing, Mayaka State Park or something? Yeah, they know that. They know that. They okay, there that. you go. So tell them that's what they have to Vince search Fishing, for. Vince Fishing, Mayaka State Park. Yeah. Okay, that's exactly what I'll title it. <laughs> see ya. And you know what it's called, YouTube. Right. And just tell them to go on YouTube and they'll find it. By that. Vince <laughs> Fishing at Mayaka State Park. <laughs> That was interesting. Thanks a lot. Uh, Bye. <laughs>